shaped symbol with channels in its edges. What was it used for? Hmm, an eye and a star. <gasps> Look at the stars, maybe. Circular stones with strange carved symbols. These icons on the wheel are the same as the constellations I have on my hand. Pentagon-shaped symbol with channels in its edges. What was it used for? They carried these people here to test them, like a challenge of some sort. Constellations and stars. These people seem to worship otherworldly gods. Hmm, I wonder what this means. Shining constellation. I better draw it. Where is this door leading me? An eye and a star. <gasps> Look at the stars, maybe. The stars are aligned, forming a constellation that I don't recognize. That is not the same sky you can see from Earth. And if that's not the Earth's sky, where am I now?
took them to a, a throne room. That was the final step in the ritual. What an odd structure, riddled with nooks and crannies and endless stairways. Maybe it only hurts the first time. Ah! The second also hurts. When I arrived on this island, I felt like I was trespassing. But now, I feel like this is where I belong. This place is like a labyrinth. It was merged in Black Icor. Harry seems to be on the brink of madness. But I, I don't feel the slightest hint of confusion. On the contrary, I feel my mind is more focused than ever. Oh, come on. One more time. Ow! That hurt! Again. Another one of those gates. I have to get into the water again. I can feel the torment of the thousands of slaves who perished here.
Again? Seriously? All the doors are open, but where is the constellation I need to open the throne room? and white figures. Good doggies, or dragons, whatever you are.
Come on. One more time. Ow! That hurt! Again. Sanctuary is open. It's time to find out what's waiting for me inside. What a disturbing mirror. Is it made of black icon? Like it is speaking to me. Oh, heavens. to respect the most basic rules of physics. However, as strange as it may be, it does maintain a peculiar harmony. Like the workings of a clock. Or a music box. wasn't going to work. That's... That's why you never sat on the throne. You didn't even perform the ritual, did you, Harry? But you wanted me to think that you had. You even left a lure to confuse me. But why? What really happened? The only person with you in that sanctuary beach was Cassandra. So if you didn't die, it had to be her. Did she use the dagger to open the gates and carry out the ritual? You tried to stop her, but it was too late. She shot you with your own gun. 
and left you for dead, didn't she, Harry? Because Cassandra was ambitious, he would stop at nothing to uncover the secrets here. The island fueled that hunger for knowledge. You had doubts about whether the ritual would work. But what happened to Cassandra cleared up those doubts. The ritual wasn't for people like you. The ritual was only for people like me. But you refused to believe it until the island itself spoke directly to you. Haha, Falgarfen, daughter. That's when you finally understood. You understood what my fate would be if I didn't come here and carry out the ritual. A slow and painful death. So you faked your own demise and left your glasses near Cassandra's corpse. Those same glasses you never take off. And you sent me the package from Dahiti, Harry. Your picture, the key, the dagger. Another one of your scavenger hunts. And I took the bait. You made me come to this island, the same island where you almost lost your mind and your life. The same island where four members of your expedition perished. Why did you deceive me, Harry? You said you would never lie to me. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Why did you do this to me? Because you knew that I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. Right, my love? Not even if staying with you would mean a slow and painful death. So the only way to get me to leave you was to make me believe you were dead. And you chose to live a life without me, so I could be who I really am. That's why you tried to deceive me. But I know you too well, my dear old pal. We've had so many years together, so many moments of love, happiness, Understanding friendship, a whole beautiful life with you. I know what you tried to do, but I can't let you make this decision for me, Harry. Either I embrace my fate and accept what I've always been, and leave you behind. Or I reject it, and return home with you to relish the time that my illness gives us. It's my decision to make. You were right about one thing, Harry. I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. I know who I really am and where I belong. I know fate has eternal life in store for me, but an eternal life without you? It's worthless. Meaningless. So, I choose the slow and painful death. I'm going back home. You staged this ruse because you love me. But true love is reciprocal. So I'm also making this decision because I love you. Our love is greater than fate, lineage, or, or all the pain I can suffer. The time we have left we'll spend together. When the time comes, it will be your hand that holds mine. 
And those beautiful blue eyes will be the last thing I see before I leave. Sir, you didn't find your husband on that island, Mrs. Everhart. I did find my husband. He wasn't on the island, though. But what have you been doing these three days? What did you find then? I don't know. The truth about myself, I suppose. And at the same time, the reason to go back home. I don't think I follow you. Have you ever been in love, Captain Hodgson? In love? You mean like in a romance novel? No, that's fiction, Captain. In real life, true love stories don't end with a wedding. They end with a funeral. And the only thing that eases that final moment of heartbreaking sadness are all the good memories lived together. Honestly, I don't think I've ever felt anything like that, Mrs. Everhart. But if you love your husband that much, he's certainly a lucky man. We are both lucky. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. One, two, don't forget the harmony. One, two, three. All my life. We had a really good life. But that's not my life anymore, is it, Harry? Not after what I've been through on this island. Not after all I've found out about myself. I can't fool myself anymore. I have to accept what I truly am and leave you behind. I'm going back home. What a lovely melody. I don't believe I've ever heard more than a few notes. Until now. For years I thought I was sick. But the truth is, I was homesick. My poor health, the pain, the suffering. It was all because of how far I was. From here. Everything seems so far away now. No trace of pain, no trace of sickness. Nothing besides this place. It's so pleasant to forget everything else. Nothing matters anymore. I'm finally one of the thousands of minds connected to the Icor. Connected with the Elder God.
Knarre. Think, I lied to you for the first and last time. And even if it was to free you from pain, suffering and death, I deceived you. But I've paid such a high price for my deceit, Nora. Fate has punished me with a long and sorrowful life, with no other incentive than my work. Because that is the only thing I have now, my dear old pal. 